Hey there. Today, we're going to be talking about Kerbal Space Program, and I'm happy to introduce this new mod series called KSP Easy Mods. Now, I know what you're thinking. Great, just what we need, another KSP mod series. Well, what makes this one a little bit different is that it's going to be targeted for beginners when it comes to KSP modding. And what I mean by that is people who, for whatever reason, simply haven't modded KSP before. And as a result, you aren't getting the most out of this fantastic game. I know there's a lot of reasons why people don't like to mod games. For some, they might be worried that they'll break the game. They just aren't comfortable messing around with the game files and directories. For others, it's a conscious choice to just not deviate too far from the stock gameplay mechanics or make the game more complicated. This series is going to address both those issues through the approach we're going to take and the content we're going to present. So first and foremost, the content you're going to see in this series is mods that simplify your game, not mods that complicate it. I'm going to hand pick some mods that enhance your enjoyment and your immersion and improve the playability of the game without ramping up the difficulty level. Secondly, we're going to walk through step by step the tools and processes you need to use in order to get these mods safely into your KSP install. One of the great things about KSP is that Squad has made it super easy to add mods. Basically, you just drop the mod folder into the game data directory and you're good to go. Most modders provide clear instructions for this, and believe me, if I can get 30 mods running on my system without issue, then you can too. So while the basic installation of a mod is really easy, honestly it can start to get a little more complicated when you're installing dozens of mods and you have to watch out for potential conflicts and dependencies, keep track of version updates and all that stuff. Fortunately, there's a group of guys over on the official KSP forums who have created a tool called CCAN, which stands for Comprehensive Kerbal Archive Network. Now that's a fancy name, but basically it's a mod manager. CCAN allows you to use a nice simple GUI to install and manage your mods. It's a metadata based system and that prevents you from installing incorrect versions of mods or conflicting mods and it help keeps you up to date on the latest available versions of your mod. So that's where we're going to kick this series off with episode 1, installing and managing mods with CCAN. So go ahead and click on the link below for that video and we'll see you in episode 1. Take care.